Hello folks, welcome. Linux Mint 21.3 Cinnamon Desktop. Today I'm going to talk about duplicate files. How to find duplicate files. I was asked a question in the last uh, couple of three days. So I thought I'd do a video on this. And I'll also talk about an honorable mention, a piece of software you can install toward the latter part of this video, if you like that. And it does have a strange name, so more importantly, Stay tuned for that if you want to know both these names. The one tool that I'm going to talk about first is something you have installed already. It's called Pix. Pix is normally what? Pix is normally an image viewer. I'm going to actually show you how to use it to find files, duplicate files. Not only of images, but regular files. Any of that stuff interests you, continue watching. I highly recommend that you watch the video in its entirety. I have some important points when it comes down to deleting duplicate files. And more importantly, I also recommend that you subscribe. I have lots of tips and trick videos, well over 360. Look for that icon in the corner of a person with yellow brackets. Again, this is LM21.3 Cinnamon, filming in 1920 by 1080. Normally, this is not here. I'm going to unpin it. So you're looking for pics, and I'll drag it back downstairs. Uh, you can always just add it to the panel manually. Anywho, moving along, I have this set up where normally uh, in full screen, it, you are using it as an image viewer. I'm gonna pull that down and pull it to the side, uh, the resizer. So anyways, you can resize these boxes to whatever size you need. Why am I doing this? Because I'm gonna pull up the file manager in this case. I'll make this a little bit longer if you like. So Mary's our user for today is just a made up name. I'm gonna be talking about Mary's documents and also we can do this with uh, photographs or pictures. So in Mary's um, documents, I have several subfolders. One of them is called Double Trouble. Just a little humor there, folks. I have three documents here that are actually duplicates, hence the word Double Trouble. That one, that one, and I believe that one are all duplicates. I have other files. So you can see how it's gonna be doing the searches. So again, this is Nemo the file manager and this screen over here is Pix. All right, so again, this is normally used to view photographs. This, today we're gonna to talk about regular files. First, so when I go to Mary's home folder, again, it's just a made up name, I'm going to click, uh, click on the subcategory so I don't have to search the whole folder. So in this case, documents. I'm gonna leave it there. I don't care about the rest of these trees. So then I'm gonna hit the hamburger menu and go to find duplicates. This is something that people overlook all the time. So in general, what it's gonna to default to is media files or media filter. Now I'm going to leave the include subfolder, which is normally default. You can unselect that, but I would highly recommend that you leave that. So it'll search the rest of these things. And then I'm gonna switch this to all files. You can see the different attributes that I can click on. All files it is, and hit find. Some important notes, I do not recommend that you skip over things in this video, especially when it comes down to deleting. You will delete some things you'll regret, if in, just in case. I will make mention when it comes down to that delete key. Let's first talk about what it just found. Starting with this first file, again, filming in 1920 by 1080, it just says the letter A. The position or where it's located is in Home Mary's Documents. So we're in Documents and we're looking for A without the extension. It just says A on it. So there's A. We also have a second position where it says double trouble on it, that it found this A in. Well, let's go look. It's here. Moving to the next one, this A.txt in Mary's documents folder is this one. And then it also found another one in here in double trouble, which is correct. And then we have the PDF, which is uh, HL something, this one. And then in Double Trouble, it found the same file, which is correct. Okay, I'm going to leave it at this. However, now I'm going to talk about an important thing that it comes down to getting rid of duplicates. I would be really careful with this button 
because currently all those files are highlighted. I'm going to first ex show you an example. If you complete this, you will permanently delete those 10 selected files. Be careful and always read the message. Permanently lost. It does not go to the trash can. It does not go to the trash can. All right. If you are inclined to use this tool to get rid of the suspected duplicate files, deselect the other ones. You can do that rather easily. Better yet, use your file manager. You can use this as a comparison. So trash can is, well, it is empty now. So what would happen if I delete uh, double trouble here, A? If I just hit the delete key on my keyboard, it goes to trash. I can always do a restore. That's the benefit of the file manager. Okay, we're back into documents, double trouble. In here though, what's the option? The option is permanent. All right, just wanted to make mention of that. All right, the next item we have pictures. Um, again, I, I can make these things smaller or larger for you, but I think I'm just gonna show you first of all what's in this folder. I have lots of JPEGs and I have four folders in here. One is also called, and I'll scroll to the top, LFS screenshot stuff and stuff copy. That means that's just a duplicate of that one. So all I did was copy this folder and make a, so basically we have three things in there and three things, actually four things in that one. Which, which one's missing? Let's see. So I'm going to get rid of that for a second and um, copy and paste. So it'll be identical. That's the easiest way to fix this. All right. So I got a duplicate of this folder. You get that so far. All right. We're going to search for duplicates. So I'm going to go down and scroll to pictures. I'm not going to go to the subcategories. I'm going to leave it exactly there. This also is a nice image viewer too. Hamburger menu, find duplicates. I'm going to leave the word media there. Use and go. All right, so we have some duplicates listed here. We have more than just what we think we have in here. So let's go take a peek at this. 12 JPEG, let's go find that in Mary's stuff. 12 JPEG is a painter head guy, this guy. We have one sitting in the main folder. We have one sitting in stuff copy. Let's go look. Yep. And another one sitting in stuff. We got to go up one and there's stuff. So there are 12, three 12 JPEGs. Then it says I have three 16 JPEGs, one in pictures, stuff, and I'm uh, sorry, stuff, copy, and stuff. And then I have three images of the 2779. That's this one. This is stuff, copy of stuff, and the other one is probably downstairs. There we go, down at the bottom. So it knows by searching through these things that I have three duplicates. 31 is listed as uh, computer guy. Three of those positions. Again, stay away from this button if you are not too keen on how to use this. You will delete all 12 items if you hit that. So heed the warning, it's permanently lost. You wanna use your file manager for eliminating those duplicates it normally will send it to your trash can if you just hit the straight delete key on your keyboard. If you are inclined to use this, uncheck the ones you don't want deleted. Um, let's leave that one and do that one. Empty trash can. And I am going to perform the action. So 31 JPEG out of stuff copy is about to go bye-bye. It doesn't go into the trash. I have three photos in here. I have four photos in here. You get what I'm going with, I hope. Okay. Again, this is a nice tool for at least finding some of that. Is it perfect? No. But at least you know have one way to search for duplicates. 
Honorable mention time. Software manager. I have to open up a separate text file because I have the name of it. It is a very, real strange spelling on it. So if you just hang on for a second. Um, it's that one right there. I will copy this and throw that in the search field. So that's how it's spelled. It's really a strange name. Uh, C-Z-K-A-W-K-A. -A -A. And I do believe, and it is Flatback software, by the way. And I do believe it's available for Macs on Windows also. It's a 6 meg download. I've used it before. It's not perfect either. Here's some screenshots of that. Okay. Um, this is a black and white interface. So basically, whether you are in um, dark mode or light mode, um, again, this is not probably really intuitive. You have to actually click through some of the menus to understand what you're doing. But more importantly, it, it will find duplicates, but it's not perfect. I actually had a problem locating my um, A files, which are non-descriptive files like this one. I usually use uh, some of this kind of stuff for script files. I'll let you see some of my script files. They start with an X. As an example, I wouldn't find files like that. Again, it's not a perfect tool either, but it is a tool for you to play with if you want to try it. That's an honorable mention. Thank you for watching.